Hey, uh, so while Makim, first and foremost, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. So I'm to sincere brother out there, Christian Swear. Me, the brothers in the San Francisco camp, you know, coming uh, with a live show. You know, we just got together, you know, those fellowship, you know, so just want to do, uh, you know, put some uh, edification out there for the, the flock, you know, as the, uh, the title says, it's going to be open for them. You know, whatever uh, scripts come out, wherever the spirit wants us to go, that's where we're going to go, you know. Yeah, I got a precept. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall oh, tremble. Sorry, one. God, okay. This yeah. is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Yeah, it says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Okay, because the most High wants you when you're a young man. All right, now there are always exceptions to the rule. Okay, you have uh, older uh, men that come into this thing. For the most part, the most High wants you when you're young man. Okay, keep going. It says, while the evil days come not. Yeah, while the evil days come, come not. not. Okay. So get in this thing when you're young. Start serving Yahweh by Shemel Shai when you're young before the evil day comes, man. Okay. Because when the evil day comes, you ain't going to be able to turn to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Real quick, get uh, Hosea 5 and 15. You ain't going to be able to turn to the Heavenly Father, man. He's not going to accept your prayer, man. Okay. He's not going to accept your, uh, your supplication. Okay. Now is the time to do it. All right, you can't play the heavenly father, man. You got a lot of niggas out there that uh, think that they're gonna be able to play the heavenly father, man. I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm waiting for when some jump off, and then I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna start uh, praying to the heavenly father, man, for supplication, and asking for forgiveness. Gonna bring it up. Isaiah five and fifteen. I will go and return to my place uh -huh. to the acknowledge their offense, seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Yeah, in their affliction, they will seek me early, man. So when the most high start jacking you up, then you're going to have a slew of niggas turn, turn into the heavenly father, man. And it's going to be too late. Mm -hmm. All right? But the scripture said, remember now the creator in the days of thy youth when the evil days come not, man. Okay? Not when the evil days come. All right? So you got a lot of uh, of our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that's just going to try to hop on board with this thing when they start getting jacked up, man. But it's going to be too late for you. You got a precept? Mm -hmm. Correct, uh, no. five and seven. Mm -hmm. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Yeah, you're not supposed to wait on this thing, man. You're not supposed to procrastinate when it comes to serving your by Shimei All right, once you hear about it, you're supposed to start making moves instantly, man. Okay? If you don't make those moves, the most high, he will jack your ass up, man. That's if he wants you. Okay? He'll, he'll, he'll persuade you <laughs> to get into the truth, man, and start serving him. Okay? And the most high, he has a... He has a lot of methods of persuasion, man. Okay, <laughs> and eventually you're gonna you're gonna get down with. Him. All right, now unless you want to keep going through, uh, you want to keep getting persuaded by him, man. You don't want to do that. <laughs> and the, the persuasion that the heavenly Father gives you is not fun, man. All right, it's not a, a fun time. Okay, <laughs> don't jack your ass up, man, until you submit <laughs> and you you start following him, man. All right, but see, you people, you gonna learn the hard way about this, man. Okay, so the, the men that the Heavenly Father wants, he's going to do that to him now while that door of uh, repentance is still open, man. You other people out there, you people that have been rejecting this word, you're going to learn the hard way that you're supposed to submit to the Heavenly Father. But he's going to jack your ass up, man. There ain't going to be no repentance. You ain't going to be able to uh, uh, get the hell from off of you. You just going to have to deal with it, man. You have to deal with the, the severe wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay. As opposed to you just being admonished by him, man. Uh, keep going. It's make no chance to turn to the Lord and putting that off from day to day. Yeah, putting that off from day to day. Oh, well, tomorrow, you know, I'm going to do it. You know, well, oh, you know, the race ride is coming. They're here right now, so, you know, I, I'm just about to chill. You know, so the famine ain't coming. Oh, I'm about to chill, man. I still got food. Right when that famine hit, though, hey, man, I'm, I'm about to start serving the Heavenly Father. You know, you can't, you can't do that, man. You can't put it off from day to day. Keep going. Well, suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Yeah, the wrath of the Heavenly Father is going to come upon you suddenly. Why? Because you're going to keep getting more and more complacent, man. You're going to say, well, uh, tomorrow I'm going to do it. Then uh, when tomorrow comes, you're going to say, well, tomorrow I'm going to do it. Then it's going to go forward. It's going to go forward more, man. Well, next week I'll do it. You know? Oh, two, two months I'm going to do it. You know? Well, three months, a year I'm going to do it. Okay? 
And then when you think you secure, you got you think you got a year's time before the Heavenly Father comes back. All right. Then you're gonna get jacked up. Okay, that's why the scriptures tell you that the uh the Heavenly Father is gonna send his son back down here and he's gonna come as a thief in the night, man. All right, quick precept. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye yeah. the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, call ye upon him while he is near. The spirit and the presence of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is near upon the earth, man. The Most High is getting ready to remove himself from the earth. Okay? And the only people that are going to have that connection are the, the individuals that established that connection when the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai was here on the earth, man. Okay? You got to establish that connection now. All right? This is a one time deal, man. Okay, you know, like Comcast, they be sending them deals out. You know, it's a deal for a year. You get mm -hmm. internet, you know, high speed internet. But you ain't gonna get that deal if you don't jump on it at that yeah, time, man. Yeah. Okay, so the same things with this, man. The most size establishing connections with men on the earth. Okay, mm -hmm. and if you don't reach out and and and, and uh, accept that uh, uh, offer, okay, or, or do your uh, due diligence to try to uh, make the heavenly Father uh, give you that offer, okay, you ain't gonna get it, man. You gonna say something? Yeah. That's a limited time only. Yep, yep. And that limited time is now, you know. And it can end at any moment. Mm -hmm. And it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Right now you go on the internet. So-called one is planning on shutting down the internet, right? Oh, the, the prophets are out there on the highways and byways. There's going to come a time where the so-called white man, he's going to have a thing called martial law, mm -hmm. right? He's going to suspend the Constitution, and he's going to have curfews. You're not going to be able to go out on the highways and hedges and teach anymore in the spirit. The spirit's not gonna have us do that anymore because right now we're in the spirit of prophesying. Mm -hmm. So it comes to a point where the most high hey, some bullet wanna give me Jeremiah 16. Jeremiah 16. Because mm -hmm. uh it's gonna come a time where the most high he's he's gonna he's gonna move us from uh teaching to putting straight up judgment on your people. Yep, right? yep. Right? Because right now the brother was saying. Right now, the Most High is extending lots of mercy on his people, the Israelites, because everyone's understanding and hearing over Israelites. You got random bug outs with fringes on, you know, cursing out the so-called Jew in his face, going putting on the internet, which is beautiful. And more and more of that's happening. Mm -hmm. it's, it's becoming a mainstream, common knowledge that God, we're the Israelites. Yep, yep. You know, it's not yeah. it's not a mystery anymore. God. Yeah, we in that uh, that great awakening, man. And you Edomites, you bug the hell out, you scared as hell, man. Pursuing to uh, Revelation the 11th chapter, okay. all right? Because now, you know, before when we first came out, you know, you just all, it's a joke, you know, all of these niggas, look at your costumes, you know. A lot of you Edomites you used to scoff heavy, you know, come by the camps talking shit. Now you, you ain't saying nothing, man. On top of the hell that you're going through in your day to day, this thing has gotten so big, okay, and then the information is coming out that you, you are, you have to acknowledge that we're the Israelites, man, okay? There's no other explanation. Why are all these camps popping up, man? Okay? All these people can't have the same delusion. All right? We can't all be bugged up. All right? We're, we're the Israelites, man. You know, okay? also, if I can say this, at the same time, at the same time, the Lord's revealing that we're the Israelites. He's revealing that you're the devil. That's right. So it's, <laughs> the Lord's killing two birds with one stone. So not only are you scared that we're raising up as a people, as a nation, you know who we are. You know, um, he's, uh, Ezekiel, what, 37? Mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the, 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 dry, the, yeah, the yeah. dry bones. Also, the devil's being revealed. So all, all nations, not only Israel, all nations are even looking at you some type of way. Even your own nation. Okay, even Edom is looking at Edom some type of way. You know, you got Edom going against the Amalek, you know, different factions within Edom. If a kingdom being divided against itself, how can that kingdom stand? So yep. we're... We're in that we're in that time where the where the kingdom is being broken down, and even like regular people are seeing it, seeing, seeing this what's what's happening nowadays. It's all type of crises, homeless crisis, opioid crisis. Yeah, there people are acknowledging the cruelty of the so-called white man, um, and a lot of that escalated when they started seeing these Ishakrites and Zebulonite children uh, being taken away from their parents, and put in cages. That put a heavy spirit on people, man. Why? Because if you have children, you can relate to that. You know, you can understand that. That's that's cruel. I was watching the Apostle Tahar. He brought out a good point, uh, referring to uh, that, uh, that Senator Maxine Waters, mm -hmm. Congresswoman. She from out here, right? Oakland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She Oakland. I think she's Oakland. Um, she 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 said pretty much, you know, roll up on Esau. You know, don't be them in your roll up on. Him. And people started doing that. They were cursing out that that white woman, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Yeah, they yeah, wouldn't yeah. serve her food. Yep. 
other people that was chasing them out the restaurant, you know. And then they're, they're, Esau's mad. They, they were getting at Maxine Waters saying, oh, you're promoting violence. She's like, wait a second. Well, wasn't it Donald Trump saying, oh, if that, you should punch that guy in the face, you yep, know. Yep. I'll, pay, I'll pay your court fees. Oh, you know what we used to do? Somebody used to come in. We used to, we, he'd be drink, He wouldn't make it out of you. You had to carry him out of here. He wouldn't be able to walk out of here. Right, so Esau, you're the devil, man. Okay, and these these people are getting stirred up against you. I believe it was in New York, they elected a, a Puerto Rican chick, man. So this whole this whole society, the so-called white man, you're out of here. Nobody wants to vote for you. Okay, that's why we're gonna have to suspend all this. We're gonna have to stop the demo yeah, yeah, so-called yeah, democracy. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna have to stop the Federal Reserve note. We're gonna have to stop the cryptocurrencies. Right? We're gonna have to stop cash. And they're gonna force everybody on the RFID microchip. Yeah, because uh, just like uh, Maxine Waters and the things that are happening, it's uh, it all it's all leading up to uh, civil unrest. Hmm. And all these things that are leading up to civil unrest. People are getting tired. So with that comes, it's gonna come riots, race riots. So Esau, he's gonna have to stop everything to bring in his new world order. Yep. But this is all this. See, this is also plan of his new world order to to cause major massive con confusion. This is all part of it. Or that tale. Yep. I let preach up for uh, this brother and what he's saying about uh, as we're uh, being woken up to both sides to uh, revealing him as being the devil. This is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 11. It says, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known amongst them when I have judged thee. So, yeah, so the Lord, he's making, he's making, he's making Edom's judgment very uh, uh evident who who's doing it okay because here it is east edom they they caused all type of hell upon our nation they killed us they slaughtered us they did all this genocide well we don't have to do none of that the lord is actually doing it uh in in the sight of the whole world's eyes in the sight of our eyes and then what's happening is that the prophets are out saying these things before it happens so, so that's even more that's even more of a testament of the heavenly father's power and that's another, that's more proof that we're the Israelites. Right. Okay, because what we just read, when the Mosai starts jacking the Edomites up, then he's going to start making himself known to the nation of Israel. Yeah. And that's what's happening right now, mm -hmm. man. Okay, the Israelites are waking up at an all-time uh, all high. Okay, it's camps popping up everywhere, more uh, people acknowledging uh, their heritage. And the more that happens, the more you so-called white people go down, man. Yeah, yeah. So the more the Mosai judges you Edomites, the more uh, he uplifts his people. Mm -hmm. Right. And you can see that just in the spirits that are being brought up in Babylon right now. And what are the main spirits getting bought, brought up? Just being a complete demon, a bug out, homosexual, a homeless, a, an opioid addict, all right, uh, adulterer. And the Most High is bringing all these wicked spirits out so he could destroy them. All right. And not only that, he's bringing out the righteous spirit, the spirit of the, of the, of the Israelites. He's raising up that spirit, that knowledge is coming back out. And it's flooding the internet right now. Okay. And a lot of brothers are waking up. And another spirit that is real heavy is just the disdain of so-called white people, man. Yeah. Everyone's like, everybody hates the white man, you know? Yeah. You could actually vibe out with anybody. Yeah, yeah you just, could vibe, off just off that. You cool it, man. <laughs> but really, like, you could, it could be funk. The moment you mentioned Esau, you agreed on him being the devil. It's cool. Everything's cool. Yeah, well, even uh, the Samoa. Now they starting to hate Esau. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And they they waking up to the fact that you're the devil, man. Them them some some low level people, man. But they they, <laughs> they got it, man. They get it. yeah, yeah. Because because uh, see the, the now now the tide the tide to me in turn Esau's pushing put putting hell upon you other nations on all time level. You can't take it. Yep. And then the know? hell that he was previously putting on him, they remember that. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know mm -hmm. all all the, the madness that you've done to him, the the, uh, the atrocities that you've committed against him. Okay. Yep, because he uh, Esau he committed an act of genocide upon all nations. It's just that these nations were scared of Esau because he had that military might and that military power. You you nations don't have a spirit of rulership on you either, okay? Unlike our people, right? But like, we can say they don't have a ruling class mentality, but they're uncontrollable, man. You can tell they're the Lord's people, okay? That's why our people are constantly fighting against the so-called white man, starting with the tribe of Judah, which is part of the prophecy. His hand would be at the neck of his enemies. All right, and that and that's how the most high set us. We're the only tribes that get it cracking, all right? And that's what that's what's gonna start the race war, man. Jake is gonna get it cracking on Esau. Because you doubles you're gonna force Jake's hand, man, when you roll on him. But you buddy has some? Yes, I got quick. Um Isaiah 33 and 1. 
Mm-hmm. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, yep. and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. Yeah, and Esau, he mainly did that to the nation of Israel, but he also did that to all these nations across the earth, man. Well, get uh, real quick, Isaiah the 14th chapter. Mm-hmm. And then you get a uh, nail on the third chapter, I believe. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so he's dealt treacherously with every nation, man. But the main people that he's uh, done dealt treacherously against is the nation of Israel. He continues to do so. Yep. But like these other nations, what did they do? He dropped two atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man. After the niggas uh, surrendered, <laughs> they didn't want the smoke. They said, no, we don't, we don't, we don't, we surrender, we give up. The nigga went and dropped two two bombs on them anyway, man. Completely devastated those two cities. And they're still dealing with the ramifications of that today, man. But, you know, they have so type of radiation poison that's still going on over there. But it's even after the first one, they, they already surrendered before the first one. Yeah. They dropped the first one, they really surrendered. And he saw and dropped another one just because, man. <laughs> no, because we don't read about it. Isaiah 14 and 4, it says, That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How have the oppressor ceased? Yeah, how have the oppressor ceased, man? When did you stop oppressing people? You've been oppressing people <laughs> since you came into power, man. You ain't never stopped, okay? God. But you're going to stop when you try to, uh, when you uh, lock your new world order down, man. Like Esau, he tries to, he tries to slide off, he tries to slide off the guilt. To his to his old to his dead daddies. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't me. I didn't do it. Oh, my family came from Europe. I'm from Polish. Oh, I, I come. I I'm, I'm from fucking Sweden. Oh, my family wasn't here. I'm, I'm an immigrant. Yeah. That 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 story. That bullshit, <laughs> man. Well, it goes into it in that same very chapter. It says, "Prepare slaughter for the iniquity of their father." So you are your forefathers come back in reincarnation. Yep. So pretty much, there's no way. There's nowhere to hide. Also, yeah. the scriptures say that. He shall complain about an ungodly father, mm-hmm. you know. So you, and you, you never, you, you've always been the same. It's just that now you're being revealed. Yeah. I mean, who's your ungodly father as of today? Donald Trump, man. Okay. Uh, the the Gadites, the Gadites used to call uh, the the U.S. president used to call him the Great White Father. Mm-hmm. Like they, they would talk to Esau, right? The soldiers and like, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your Great White Father, you know. The president, they don't want. To, I want to talk to the great white father. I don't want to talk to you because who here? Who's your boss? You know, I'm the chief of my people, and I'm talking to a general. You like, know, I'm, you know, you're no. I gotta talk to your boss. I want to meet the great. So I, I believe it was Sitting Bull. He he made it a mission to speak to the great white father, right? So he went to Washington D.C. You know, he shook the hand of the president. You know, cursed his ass out, man. Told him he's the devil, pretty much. That you know he's not going to change. Then then and he got executed. You know. Later on, when he, when he led another rebellion with his people, but that's who's the great white father as of today, so called Donald Trump, man. Yes. And you're you're complaining. I would never defend him. Yeah, I would never defend him. But then there's a lot of Edomites who defend him and love him, and they're gonna vote for him. Man. They're gonna ride with his ass. Why? Because they're racist, and they feel that they have that same. Uh, they're coming in that same proud, devilish American spirit. Right, that cheaper creepers American spirit, <laughs> sicko, a freak, man. That just wants violence. Yeah, it's ready to go, and that's hate. Hates Jake. Oh, they're criminals, man. Yeah, super predators. Yep. Yeah, the same. The same people that's protesting against Donald Trump are the same ones that the so-called black man come in their neighborhood. They'll call the cops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, and, or, and or, or if they're selling the water. Yeah, the yeah cops, those are the same ones that hate Donald Trump because it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's politically correct to hate Donald Trump. It's it just. It sounds yeah. good. It's in, you know? Yeah, it's the spirit. You have to hate him because he's the devil. But then all you so every last one of you so called yeah, white people are the, the devil. Man. You're all racist. You all support Donald J. Trump deep down in your heart. Man. Yeah, and you're even more of a devil. Yeah, because you're hiding the fact yeah. that you hate these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're, you're even more of a devil because you're not doing anything <laughs> about it, man. None of you Edomites are going, hey, we got to give our land back, this land back to the Native Americans. All right, we got to make things right. None of you Edomites are doing that, man. Right, that's why I says the continual stroke. You never, you never put your foot off the pedal, man. You never stop. You ain't never stop doing it as we speak. As we speak, and you you're know? and you Edomites, you low level Edomites on the street. I'm not doing none of that. Yes, you are. You're complicit. You're an Edomite in America. You support all the violence and destruction America's putting on the whole earth, including on the Israelites here in America. Well, you're polluting the earth just being here, man. Shitting yeah. on the ground. Yep. Doing just all type of sick things. You know, being a pedophile. You know, just being, just being idle. <laughs> so you're you're 
you're living off you're 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 able to live that lifestyle because and no and nobody comes against you yeah. you're able to live that lifestyle because of what your ancestors have done to this land yeah. so you're reaping the benefits off of what the evil mindset your, your people have done okay and being able to live in tent cities tent cities and nobody cops don't do anything about it be able to go panhandle and get money okay be able to clean yourself up go get a job anytime you want all right that's that's because your ancestor did a, a massive amount of uh, uh killing Israelites. Oh, that there's that one Edomite. He they caught him. Uh, uh, it was a cold case. It was like a Golden State type case, mm. and he killed a, a young woman in a in a Stanford church. Killed her with an ice pick, raped her. You know, Boy. and then it was that was in the sixties or seventies. And they found out. They did. They ran. They ran back the DNA. And as soon as the cops rolled on him, they, the dude offed himself, man. Uh. He offed himself because he knew, and it was an Edomite. So all you Edomites, man, you're murderers, right? And a lot of you Edomites will go out and kill people. You try to go in hiding, right? That's a that's a, a lot of you Edomites are probably hit and ran. Yeah, how many Edomites have killed people that got off? That's living regular lives, like your next door neighbor or your professor, yeah. or your 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 teacher. Or here it is, Jake. Your cop. Here it is, Jake. Got you know, you got two wetbacks. They got in a little scuffle. They're drunk. Their buddies, cousins, niggas stabbed stabbed one of the dudes. The nigga went to state prison because he's because of that, man. Cause he's a stupid nigga, but Esau over here has actually got bodies, man. He's he's racking up bodies. He's he's sitting back at home watching the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, back in Isaiah fourteen, I'm gonna start from the top of four again. Is that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, "How hath the oppressor ceased? Mm -hmm. The golden city ceased." Yep. Verse five. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked. Yeah, that's how you gonna cease. The most high gonna destroy you, man. All right, keep going. And the staff of the wicked is America, man. Because mm -hmm. America is the one that goes around putting judgment on all these nations. Yep. If it wasn't for America, there wouldn't be there wouldn't be bombings going all off everywhere on the planet Earth right now. I got a quick precept. This is Jeremiah uh, fifty and twenty three. How is the hammer of the whole earth mm -hmm. cut asunder and broken? Yeah, America, right? The so called white man's a. Uh, they show you that when they explain. Um, three uh, uh city states the major three city states there's a this the vatican city which is the part of the new world order so-called white man's thing is vatican city which is the religious bs the paganism then it's a uh, uh city of london because these are all independent city states within nobody nobody could touch them yeah they're their own separate country yep uh, a little uh, a little do you idiots know city of london which is the financial capital of the world and then it's washington dc which is the military uh, capital of the world, man. Mm -hmm. So that from, from Washington, D.C., that's where they operate the Pentagon, which just so happens to be a goddamn uh, uh, five-pointed star. Pentagram. A pentagram, right, which is a satanic symbol. That's where they get, that's where they trap out of, man. Doing what? Bombing and killing people all over the, all over the world. All right? Bombing them to hell and back. Keep going. It says, how has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's becoming a desolation as we speak right now. You look at places like Detroit, that's a desolation. True. All right? The parts of the Midwest. Well, the, the, the Bay Area, The man. Bay Area, it's, man. It's like a band -aid. The Bay Area is pretty much through just a Band-Aid because you have all this tech. Tr tr trillion, billions, billions upon billions of dollars is out here. Yeah. We're living you know? we're living in the future over here. Yeah. We really are living in the future. And you brothers, we're all living in the future, you know? But it's just a matter of time before these people really start killing each other, you know? <laughs> that's yeah, that's, bad that's what's going to happen. It's a, it's a big bubble out here. Yeah. You and, know, and, and, the housing prices, the, uh, the, the price of uh, what the houses are selling for, average price. The average uh, house out here is a million dollars. A million dollars. And that bubble's going to burst. So that million dollar house that your ass is bought, it's going to go down to a few <laughs> uh, 10,000. You yeah, know, yeah, 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 you're gonna yeah. be through, man. Yeah, yeah. All your equity, all the money that you thought you had, you're gonna lose it. Yeah. You know, you're gonna go, you you you're gonna lose the money, and then you're gonna lose it. Yeah. And then and then all and then <laughs> yeah. you poor people, you poor people, you're gonna lose your job to a robot, and then you're gonna live on the damn streets in a tent or an RV, and then you're gonna be criminalized for such, and they're gonna put you in jail and concentration camp. Yeah, and then if you try to leave, they're gonna. You all gonna hit your ass with like a five hundred percent markup, so Terror. you can't get <laughs> you, call, you, you can't you can't leave. <laughs> and, and furthermore, you people got a demon on you in here in the Bay Area to where you can't leave. You don't want to leave because of the, the illusion of wealth. Well, a lot of people can't go because they ain't got the money to leave. Yeah, that's what's through. We, we, you ain't even got the capital to put down on the, on the truck 
Mm-hmm. You ain't got the money to uh, to for the deposit for right, the place right. you're gonna move to. You through, and you don't even have a job. Yep, that's paying. That's paying enough, enough to, to even survive. To feed you and your family to survive in a, in a foreign state that you've never been to. True. Well, that's why every time you we hit up Costco, there's a fam a family of four out there, man, trapping. Yeah, yeah. Getting asking for donations, and usually they're heathens. You know, I yeah, tell yeah, I tell yeah. them I'm gonna ask them first. I ask them what country you from. You can already know what, what I'm. Oh going yeah, well, 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 we're going. <laughs> we're, well, we're going through a, a worldwide immigration crisis mm-hmm. because they don't really they hide the fact, but uh, America has a whole bunch of immigrants coming over here. You know, there, there, there's a certain amount of uh, immigrants uh, that they, that America allows, and and then the EU is just getting flooded. Well, this is all. This is all leading up to the the race wars. Yes, this is all. Pl- this is all planning up. This is. I mean, it's literally working perfectly. How the Lord, he's setting up. You have all these migrants getting displaced from the Middle East, getting displaced from Africa. They're coming over to the United States. They're coming all throughout Europe, Greece, Italy, Germany, okay, uh, France. There's riots. There's always riots. Australia. France, Australia. They're all there. So what is that doing? That's putting, especially all these dark nations are coming against Edom. They're going to be right there, hand in hand, right next to Edom. And then and Edom, Edom's also going, get, get out of my country, to, you know, the Germans. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to get out of the French. Yeah, they, you know? and then they say, you don't like it, get out of here, right? That's what Esau likes to say. But wait a second. Those people, have, they don't like their country. That's where they get. That's where they left. Now they're here in America. Well, they're in that country because of uh, America and the EU and NATO is bombing it. Yeah. Their country to hell and back. So. And then, then you say, oh, if you don't like your, it was, oh, why don't you go back to your country and fix it? But then these Edomites tell you to leave if you don't like it. Yeah. But these people here, so this is uh, it's hypocritical. You just say you don't, you're the devil, man. And then, like, uh, the brother did a video of Carl with Tuckerson, uh, the elder brother, y'all would call did a video on it. And he said, Yeah, it's just so many Mexicans moving in at once. That's just not good for, our, for the neighborhood, you know? It's going to leave. What, how? How? If it was a bunch of Edomites moving in, it wouldn't be a problem. But because they're, they're Israelites, there's a problem now. Yeah. But it's their fault for coming. It's not your fault for feeling a type of way of it. You're the devil, man. Esau, Esau knows that. See, he's not he's not dumb. He knows that there's about to be an uprising, so he doesn't want Israelites to uh, be close to him because he knows that. Okay, you know he later, got that target on him. Yeah, sooner or later, sooner or later, I'm gonna lose my power. He got that mark of Cain on him right now, yeah. man. Everyone's gonna be searching you. This is verse looking two. to exterminate Edomites, man. Uh, yeah, I'll read it. I'll read it from the top again. It says Jeremiah 15 and 23. How is the hammer of of the whole earth? Cut asunder and broken. How has Babylon become a desolation <laughs> among the nations? Yeah, how has Babylon become a desolation amongst the nations? Because this is the top nation on the earth, man. And the way it's going to go out is the last uh, uh, thing that these people are thinking about, man. These people don't even believe. Well, we was at the, uh, you know, we was doing camp uh, last Saturday. And the nigger woman came up. And, uh, you know, the elder brother, y'all would call. He was like, hey, man, uh, America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. So how do you know it's nuclear? You know, mm-hmm. so yes, and then yeah. these people mind they can't conceive that America is going to go out the way it's going to go yeah, out, man. Yeah. You know, you idiot. <laughs> it's it. And you insiders, you people that be on, I'm a man, Dabu. You other guys, you you know what's coming. You guys that be uh, Jason A. Watchers, you are Dabu 777 Watchers, you Paul Joseph Watson wannabes. You guys know missiles are coming, man. You know the nuclear missiles are coming to destroy you. They don't. They don't know how bad it's gonna get, though. They oh, no, think no, they, no. They, they might be dead too. Yeah, yeah, they they think they can go down to fucking <laughs> Venezuela or, or Peru and escape. Yeah, just go to the desert yeah. here in this country. Yeah. You'll you you escape it. Yeah, like your boy from Natural News. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Health Ranger. A, yeah, Health Ranger. Because he went down to like uh, South America and said, "Now nah, you gotta you gotta be down. You gotta be in the United States because this because what they think that's gonna happen is gonna be a change of power. And they're gonna be able to." Just, they're going to be able to uh, acquire wealth in a new new class of living. Yeah. Because everything could buy order out of chaos. Mm-hmm. But no, nah, no, nah, that's not going to happen. You're going to get eaten up. Okay. You, it's going to be famines. It's going to be what you the, we, the Leviathan going to come out. What, you, what are you going to do when the Leviathan comes out? Not only that, the Mosai is going to let Esau, he's going to let Esau uh, spread his wings, man. He's going to let Esau spread his, his wings, man, and go hard on the whole world yeah, you get with that mark of the beast. Mm-hmm. When you institute the mark of the beast, none of you eat them. Oh man, we're gonna be good. None of you eat them. A health ranger, you're gonna be the first dude to die. All right, they're gonna come and kill you. Yeah. Alex Jones, get these crystals. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, "I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken." Yeah, and most I laid a snare for you. So everything you're doing is according to the plan of Yahweh Shimei Okay, the Trump passing these tariffs—that's 
the most high laying a snare for you, man. Okay. And these people uh, around the world, they don't believe that the EU is going to turn against America, man. Oh, this is just some rocky uh, uh, situations that we have now. You know, everything is going to uh, go back to how it used to be. You know, or a lot of you people will actually believe that America is just going to somehow step down or be downgraded like uh, the British Empire. Nah, this place is going to go out with thermonuclear destruction, man. Okay, keep going. Britain's through. The, they said uh, London is majority uh, so-called minority, meaning Esau is the actual minority. There. Right? There's more uh, heathens than, and, and jakes. Then there's Edomites. And then uh, also in London, you have a, 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 a suicide crisis of white men. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe the, the second largest city in London, as of uh, this past week, the same thing happened. They said it's, uh, the majority of it is uh, non-Edomites, man. So you Edomites are getting flushed out of here, right? And thou are also taken, O Babylon, and thou, and, and thou was not aware. Yeah, thou was not aware. You average Americans, and even uh, the president, okay? Even these upper echelon Edomites, they don't know what the hell is going on, man, okay? Because it's the plan of the elites that they're going to use the nuclear weapons just to scare you people into accepting the new world order, man. They don't even, they don't expect this place to be completely destroyed, man, all right? And you see that in these uh, movies that they make, man, okay? okay? And certain parts was destroyed, but you still got a remnant uh, fringe group of Edomites still living here. Building it up and living in a, in a damn uh, nuclear wasteland, man. Okay, and built underground bunkers and stuff, and they crawl out of there. They're still living on the earth. That ain't, that's not what's gonna happen, man. This place is gonna be completely destroyed, completely wiped off the face of the earth. All right. Thou art found and also caught mm -hmm. because thou thou hast striven against the Lord. Yeah, you but you are literally striving against your heart by Shemi Hawashah. Okay, the things that you're doing, the things that uh, uh, this country pushes out. You are literally going against the Heavenly Father, man. And then you're spreading this doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And the main thing that you fucked up on is when you passed that uh, that gay marriage, man. Okay? Real quick, somebody get a Jew. Uh, uh, this is an example. That's where you fucked up at, man. And then you, you went further than that. Now you got transgenders walking around. Oh, we seen a fucking transgender. We saw, we saw like two reverse transgenders. It was some weird it shit, a, man. It was a very confusing. Yeah, nasty, androgynous nigga bitch. And then was, she was with a fucking tranny, man. An Edomite dude trying to be a bitch. Yeah, it was an Edomite Just, dude be, was the big overgrown bitch girlfriend. And then the boyfriend was a big, fat, nasty black bitch, man. Sick. I have something to ask you. Okay. Uh, yep. Jew, um, verse 7. It says, um, even as Sodom and Gomorrah in the cities, in the cities about them, in like manner, mm -hmm. giving themselves over to fornication. And America has given itself over to fornication, man. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, keep going. And going after strange flesh. Yep. Are set forth for an example, mm -hmm. suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Yeah, so if Sodom and Gomorrah went out the way it did for doing what it did, what do you think is going to happen to America, man? <laughs> That's what it's done. All right. Forget all the other stuff you did. Let's, let's just say this place didn't do nothing to the Israelites. The mere fact that you passed that uh, same-sex marriage, that you promote uh, transgenderism, non-gender binary, that the mere fact that you promote that and you push that throughout the four corners of the earth, you're gonna be destroyed, man. Yep, yep. Okay. That's it. So this place, this place ain't gonna it ain't, it ain't gonna bounce back, man. All right. Everybody that's on the shores of America, that's on the soils of America, if you're not part of the elect. You're going to get burned up with thermonuclear missiles, man. All right? And this whole country is going to be completely destroyed. All right? That's it? Huh. Let's uh, finish with uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, I mean, I can keep going, but I'm pretty much okay, finished. Can I to back that up? Bring it up. It's uh, Isaiah 13 and 19. Mm -hmm. In Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms. Yeah, Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. The reason why I call it the glory of kingdoms is because this is the, uh, the top nation on the earth. All right? This is the richest nation in history, man. Okay, keep going. The beauty of the Chinese excellency keep going. shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, it shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom mm -hmm. and Gomorrah. So the same way Sodom and Gomorrah went out with fire and brimstone, that's the same way this place is going to go out, man. And just like those uh, cities are not inhabited anymore, you can actually go over there and see where Sodom and Gomorrah mm -hmm. and those other cities were, man. There's nothing there. Ain't no plant life, okay? There ain't no 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 grass. Grass don't grow there. Okay, nobody's living there. It's just a desert, man. All right. 
nothing but desert creatures is, is roaming around. Okay, and that's how America's going to be, man. All right. Keep going. Verse 20, it shall never be inhabited, mm -hmm. neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to build this place back up, man. First of all, the, the, the earth is going to be radiated, man. Okay, and the scriptures tell you that the most side is going to destroy this place down to the foundation. Okay, so nothing's going to grow. The topsoil is going to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything, <laughs> Everything is going to be, uh, uh, it's, it's going to turn into a uh, salt pit, man. Yeah. You ain't going to be able to grow nothing here. So even if you wanted to live here, how are you going to survive? It's going to be uninhabitable. Yep, yep. Yeah. It says, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Yeah, you fucking Arabs coming over here with your cart. Ain't going to be no Arabs coming here with their damn cart, man. You nasty-ass Arabs running in food carts, man. You ain't going to be able to set up shop over here. Yeah, you you ain't right? going to be you ain't trekking across America on a camel, all right? It's not going to happen. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. You can, yeah, because there ain't going to be no grass. If there's no grass, what the sheep going to eat? If you can't feed the sheep, you ain't going to have no flock. They're going to die, yeah. okay? And if you don't have, you don't have sheep, <laughs> that means you ain't going to eat, okay? There ain't no herbs growing. ain't no fruit <laughs> growing. You're going to die, okay? So uh, nobody's going to be able to come over here and establish anything. It's going to be a, a, a desert, man. Perpetually. Perpetually, yeah. okay? Just like Solomon and Gamora. You can actually look it up. It's a dude named uh, Ron Wyatt. He actually went over there and found the, uh, the sites, man. Okay? He went over there. There's nothing but fucking sulfur on the ground, man. Lot's wife is still there. Yep, yep. Don't nothing grow there. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody's living there. Nobody wants to live there because you can't live there. All right? So that's how America's going to be, man. All right? Keep going. Verse 21 says, But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. Uh-huh. And the houses shall be full of doleful creatures. Yep. And owls shall dwell there, and satire shall, uh -huh. shall dance there. And those are all unclean animals, man. So if you come over here, you ain't gonna be able to eat anything. You can't survive. All right. Keep going. Verse twenty-two. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, uh -huh. and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come. Yeah, and her time is near to come. I mean, this place is getting ready to be destroyed, man. This prophecy is getting ready to come to pass upon this place, man. Everything's uh right where it needs to be at. Okay, the uh, uh the relationship that America has with the EU is uh being ripped apart. Okay, your allies in the uh, European nation they're turning to Russia, man. Okay, they're turning to Russia. They're turning to Iran. Okay, they're turning to China. Your your enemies, man. Okay. It says, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. That's right. Her days shall not be prolonged, man. Yeah. So what does that mean? The Most High is speeding this thing up, man. Okay. The Most High is hastening the destruction of this place, man, by bringing these prophecies to pass that much quicker. Okay. Yeah. Which, it. Yeah. Which goes into the, the scripture we brought out. Remember the Creator in thy youth. Yep. Because these prophecies are not going to be prolonged. We actually see so prophecies. These prophecies are not a far off, but they're they're actually uh, very close and near uh, uh, to to the day that we're at now. We see that we see the relationship that the EU, NATO, which that's prophesied with the United States. We see oh, racial tensions are at an all time high. Yeah, you might mice are mad. Man. Okay, every every foundation of a of Babylon's being totally destroyed. All since since you labored, let's just say you labored labored up since uh, from your youth. You are full of the sins of your youth. Okay, all these things are crumbling now. The Lord said, you shall build, but I will throw down. So now we're seeing the throw down of all the foundation that Esau have established. Okay, socially, economically, financially. Okay, spiritually. Okay, his religion is being destroyed. Jacob's coming out of the <coughs> churches, man. Yep. All well, right. You know, the, the churches are declining at a rapid rate. Man. They're all empty. Ain't nobody want to be. And this prime real estate, too. They want to develop all these churches. <laughs> These churches yeah, they're going to they develop them, okay, into a concentration camp to lock you people up in, okay? Or or chipping stations. Yeah, because it's going to get it's going to get so hectic out here. Esau is going to roll. He wants to stop everything. He wants to stop the internet because Jake is waking up, okay? Jake, we we you know Jake Jake simple, but you got the the, the prophecy is that one third was going to come back and wake up a remnant, yep. and that's a large number, okay? Yep. Israel is out of the sand of the sea, or what it says in Hosea the first chapter, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, um. Yeah, we can, let's first hear it. we can bring that out because it's because Israel, Israel is a very large number. So yeah, two thirds. He well, two thirds. They know that they're Israelites. That don't mean yep, that they're yep. gonna be saved. Mm -hmm. So it's going even the, the appearance of you have 
niggas with fringes on all day long. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that you're gonna be safe. Yeah, it'll make them part of your elect. Yeah, that yeah, that doesn't make them part of the elect. So you're gonna have you're gonna have Jake that's gonna do it uh um do it cardinally, man. Try to come up against Jake like these other Israelite groups, these military Israelite groups. Mm -hmm. Jake wanna get that? I got, I got, I got it. Okay, good. Uh this is Hosea one and ten. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. And it's impossible. You can't measure the sand, the sand of the sea. It's impossible. Okay, just one hand. If you grab some sand, just one hand, you can't measure that. It's it's literally impossible to do that. So how much? How much more all the sands of the whole, of the whole sea of the whole world? Okay, so that's 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 likened unto the children of Israel. How many Israelites there are? Well, furthermore, you got the wheat. The, the what about the parable of the wheat and the tares? You got a lot of Israelites that don't look like Israelites, man. So how much? How much more? How much more uh this prophecy is coming to pass okay you got a lot of heathens that look like israelites yep 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 yep, yep. that's it go ahead uh it says yet the number of the children of israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor number you can't measure nor number the children of israel okay go ahead and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people and this is babylon we weren't we weren't said that uh uh in Babylon, we were saying, oh, he's yeah, 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 uh, we were our, our 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 heritage was taken away from us, man. Okay, this is this is the land where we were called everything else but an Israelite. Yeah, we could be anything but an Israelite. Yep, yep. You literally, you can literally, you can be a goddamn trans species. Yeah, you could be a Moabite, you could be an Amorite. Well, they, they call us monkeys, man. Mm -hmm. So they they want to say we're every they want to call us subhuman, savages, whatever the animals. Everything say, but Israel. Everything but the, the the prince of the power, man. But which is which it, is which is uh, pretty pretty much what else can we be you know everybody everyone gravitates towards towards who jake man uh -huh. everybody wants to go after whose ways jake's place it's getting to him yep. yeah it's where it's getting to him and they're seeing it too okay it just it just at the time when we were rebuilding the temple with uh zerubbabel uh uh if i'm not mistaken we were rebuilding the temple and what you have the heathen come against us mm -hmm. yeah, in the time of ezra yes yeah, in the time in the time of ezra you have the heathen come against us. Why? Because they were seeing they were seeing us come back into power. Yep. So, they scared. So, and they were scared because they know we was giving you the business. All right. So the same the same rules apply. All right. He used to have flashbacks so of when he used to get his ass beat in uh, slavery. Man, it's coming back. It's coming back. Flashbacks and dreams of the future too. Yeah. So no, that's what we were created to do. Yeah. Put holy. What well, the scripture tell you? The elder shall serve the younger man. <laughs> There's nothing you can do, man. And even in the blessing that the, that uh, uh, Yahushai gave Esau, all right, he said, "You gonna serve your brother." <laughs> that was part of that's part of your blessing, man. <laughs> yeah, so you should feel you blessed. Serve your brother, man. You should feel blessed, man. You should feel blessed to get your ass beat. Be a good slave. <laughs> it says, uh, "And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people.' Well, you just you just prove prop prophecy." Okay, you just fulfill prophecy. Well, go ahead. There it shall be said unto them, "Ye are the sons of the living power." And and how's how's the Lord doing that by the servants of his uh, of his mouth, his prophets, man? Mm -hmm. By telling by telling his people that we are the Israelites, and it, and 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 it's proof that we are the Israelites. If you wanna if you wanna get a, a physical proof, but we really we're we're all rolling in the spirit. Okay, which which is just nothing but prophecy because we are the only ones who fulfill prophecy out of this book. All right, you can't. The Edomites they weren't they weren't brought into slavery in slave ships. Okay, your your slavery will be in ships. Okay, that's you. But it's gonna be a it's gonna be an intergalactic slave trade. Okay, your ass is gonna be getting traded from planet to planet. Okay, so all these prophecies when you go into Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter that doesn't apply to any other nation but the children of Israel. So by by process of elimination we will have to be undoubtedly the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, who? Furthermore, what other nation is saying that they're the Israelites? Yeah. Who what? else is out on the highways and byways? Who else? That's all the mm -hmm. scriptures tell you that, that the nation of Israel will rise up in the last days. Okay, who else is doing that? And who's, and then who's going to the so-called Jews saying they're not the Jews? Only us. Yep. 
right? The actual Jews. The, the, nobody's coming up against them saying those those aren't the people. They say that to us, man. They're telling yeah, us, you're, oh, not, you're, 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 no, you're, no, no. you're, you're just black. You know, so those are those are uh, by words that uh, those don't, mean, so it, those don't even exist. Right? Those, those those are nonsensical t uh, terms put upon uh, the Israelites. Fake news. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Uh, you I'm done with that. I got some going back to the point before. Uh, yeah, yeah, America yeah. being just through. It's Isaiah twenty four and one. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it a waste, uh -huh. and turneth it upside down. And scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof, mm -hmm. and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with their mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. Uh -huh. The land shall be utterly emptied mm -hmm. and utterly spoiled, yep. for the Lord hath spoken this word. Yeah, the Most High hath already declared this, man. All right, this place is going to go out. All right, this place is going to be destroyed. And all you Edomites that's over there sitting on your fucking couch drinking Budweiser, all right, talking shit on your wireless keyboard, the most I'm going to destroy you too, all right? That's for damn sure. And your fat ass can't even get out the chair. He's just sitting on the couch with the wireless keyboard. Parasites. You know, drinking yeah. the 12 pack of Budweiser. In a piss bottle Through. right by you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even get up. True. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarette ashes, and okay. cigarette burns in the couch. Texting your friend on a bubble phone. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're breathing in mold, <laughs> breathing in mold, and yeah. cockroaches eating your toenails. Pesticides and shit. Pesticides on all, all, all up on your up, around your house. People are sick. Uh, the land shall utter, shall be utterly emptied and utterly uh -huh. spoiled. For yep. the Lord has spoken this word. Keep going. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. Yeah, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. Under mm -hmm. who? The rulership of you so-called white people, man. All right? You have completely destroyed the whole earth, man. You can't deny it. Why, why has whole species gone extinct under your rulership, man? What, the last, uh, what was it, white, black white rhino, rhino? White rhino. White rhino. White rhino. That yeah. shit died a few uh, weeks <laughs> yeah, ago, yeah, man. Okay, okay. All right? Under the, who, who's, who's the rulership? Yeah. All right? Who was, who was going down to where the, uh, the white rhino was at and hunting it? For his fucking horn, man. Who was doing that? Who implemented that? The Tasmanian tiger. The yeah, Tasmanian tiger. That's Dodo. another. That's another uh, uh, animal that went extinct. A polar bear is going extinct under your rules. Yeah, right man. now as we speak. Yeah, yeah, All yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The yeah. California gray wolf. The California grizzly bear. Yeah, and that's still on the flat. Well, why aren't there any grizzly bears I in California? Seen any? Because you so-called white people, you killed all of them, man. You the almost business. exterminated the buffalo. Oh, all, all right. right. You you almost exterminated. You're uh, the national uh, bird, man. The national animal almost got exterminated yeah, the under, under your rulership, man. You know, and it wasn't because Esau was going out and killing it. It was because he had this thing called DDT, mm -hmm. a pesticide, man, that he was putting in your damn GMO crops. It's and then that thing. pesticide was getting in the, in the food chain, and the birds, it made their eggshells weak. So when they try to reproduce, they couldn't reproduce, man. Well, he tried to, he tried to exterminate Gad. Yeah, so yeah, that's another. That what about that man? What you? Hey man, you you devil's got a lot of blood on your hands. Oh, man. That's what to Isaiah uh, thirty. That's what I scripture said. The whole earth is at rest and break forth uh, to sing him mm -hmm. once this devil go down. Yep, yep. He has put hell upon the whole earth, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whales. Shit, man. Oh, I was at the beach uh, last Sunday, and there's a fucking dead whale, bro. Oh shit! Them motherfuckers are popping up everywhere, man. Bro, it was a dead yeah, whale. Hell of hell of news on that. It was a big ass dead whale and a fucking uh, a dead seal too, right yeah. next to it. Through, and I went up and you know gave uh, you know acknowledged it, you know, and I and I knew that the so-called white man did. You know? Well, uh, you talking about the beach out here, Redondo Beach? It's uh in Marin. Okay. Yeah, I believe that's the, the story was on the news. Yeah. And then it came out that the reason why the whale died was from blood force trauma, man. So yeah, a fucking oh. shit oh, uh, ran over and hit that shit, man, and killed the whale. Esau. No, it was an Edomite. And too. you're supposed to, they tell you it's a certain path that the ship's supposed to go in to stay out of the uh, the path that the, the marine, the marine uh, uh, area. God. Whatever, whatever was... Uh, Operating that ship, they they killed the uh, the fucking whale on man. purpose too. You know it was Edomite that did yep. on purpose because evil was fun. And if it ain't Edomite, it's Esau's fault because you're the one that created these boats. <laughs> it's all it's your port. Camp turbine. Right. It's your port, and, and you're the one that uh, established these uh, shipping lanes. And it's man. your cargo, man. Mm -hmm. It's your money. Everything's the so-called white man's fault, man. Whose all bag right. is that? Yeah.
the white man, nigga. All right, we got it from the white man, just like the rest of this hell. Uh, the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, every, everything's your fault. <laughs> the earth mourned and faded away. The world languished and faded away. Yeah. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Yeah, the haughty people of the earth do languish. Are you languishing now? You Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. Now you, you living in a in a damn tent outside of my house, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be a low level, you know, uh, 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 Jake. You got I'm got fucking tents outside my house, man. You Edomites are through, man. <laughs> You being bought down low. It's part of the world right. languishing, man. You went from the hills to the to the to the flats, man. All right. In a tent. You ain't even got a house. You're in a tent. Then then they they giving you these uh these stuff sheds, man. <laughs> and the cold part about it is uh you ain't even touched rock bottom yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Oh, this is the beginning. It's gonna be bad too. You know, Esau he can't handle mm -hmm. he can't handle anything. You That's know? why he's turning to the oids. And then they ain't gonna be no oids in that day, man. All right, you have to sell an arm and a leg literally to get get some oids, man. All right, so a lot of you eat my you're just gonna try to kill yourself, man, or you know, kill and rape the next thing to, next to you because that's what you eat my feed off of, man violence and just being a uh, disgusting yeah. soul, man. Violent yeah, yeah, violent homosexual. The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languished and fadeth away, the Haji people of the earth do languish. You know? The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Yeah, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, man. Okay? Which the inhabitants is mainly talking about the rulers. Who's in the rulership, Who's in the rulership seat, man? You so-called white people. All right? And under your policy, you have uh, uh, defiled the earth, man. Okay? Oil spills happening all over the world. Okay? It's pure confusion. Like the shit we saw earlier today at the at the restaurant, man. That, that's that's your so that's because of the so-called white man, right? Yeah. And there was a fucking white man. Yeah, it was, and then and the black bitch. And he was he was he was uh co-signing. He allowed her to uh, look like yep, that. Yep, yep, yep. That thing was supposed to get put to death a long time ago. Yep. And further, and you got Esau. He's fracking over here in the United States, just destroying, destroying the tectonic plates. That's gonna cause more uh uh uh, uh earthquakes, man. That's mm -hmm. that has actually caused more earthquakes. And then that 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 gas actually leaks into the water table, and poisons the inhabitants around uh, 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 that town, and causes birth defects. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then all the all the pollution, uh, just the garbage that people just produce every day. Like the so-called white man, he has so much uh, recycles, he can't know where to send it. Yeah, you know where you no know, China was. China so nobody wants it no more. Shit. China don't want you, Nobody wants to fuck with you. And, if, and furthermore, your 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 garbage is supposed to be biodegradable. Okay. It's yep. supposed to be able. You're supposed to be able to. Uh, 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 it's supposed to be able to break down back into the it's earth. Supposed to be elements. compostable. Yeah, it's supposed to be able to compostable. You know, all right. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you supposed to be able to burn it, and it's okay. You yeah. can't burn. Yeah. You can't burn this plastic. You'll kill. You'll you'll, you'll, you'll kill yourself burning plastic, man. You go to jail. Fumes, okay. Furthermore, there's other toxic substances inside these different uh, chemical uh, plastic wraps and different polymers that you have. Different uh, 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 xeno xeno estrogens that you that you synthesize that you that you you kill you by burning it, you what you have to do is you have to bury it or you have to try to send it off to space so you you you're polluting the space you're polluting everything man yep. and then when you bury it uh, you, your landfills there's a thing called leaching and it's like a toxic uh, uh, toxic uh, liquid that goes into the water table man and that's what people drink yeah so you wonder why you got you got a fucking another ear grown out of your back yeah, of your you head. Got, you got a tumor. All right. Tumor. Yeah, you got a tumor, or you you just all of a sudden you you in good health, you running marathons, you got cancer. It's because of the so-called white man, okay? Yeah. It says, therefore, I said, I mean, yeah. the earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Uh -huh. Because they have transgressed the laws. Yeah. What laws are it talking about? Is it talking about your penal code? <laughs> is it talking about the uh 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 city ordinances? No, I was talking about the law, statutes, and commandments. So you how about shimmy outside? What you eat might break on a daily basis, man. Is it, is it talking about people behaving badly? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Running the stop sign. Yeah, that the law that's talking about. Yeah, dri driving the wrong lane. Yeah. Cutting people off. No, man. It's talking about the laws of the Heavenly Father. Which all you so called white people, you're guilty of breaking, man. Yeah. You you are incapable of following the law, statutes, and commandments. So you how about shimmy outside? You're a lawless nation, man. Yep. Okay. Yeah. He's an outlaw. Yeah, yeah, outlaw. You gonna get you gonna get locked up, man. Yeah. In chains. Yeah, here it is. Esau, he had all these 
goddamn laws on the on the um, on the books. Mind you, unrighteous law. He don't even follow none of them. Yeah, they get changed every day. <laughs> yeah, and then so a law that he was uh, uh, enforcing a day before. Yeah. Now it ain't a law no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those people that got locked up and, and, and persecuted. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You got to deal with it, man. Yeah, you with the marijuana shit. Sponge. The yeah, marijuana you know? shit. And then uh, not only that, this double, uh, he has a he has a, this thing called loopholes. So where you can break certain laws because there's other laws that justify you doing it, man. Mm -hmm. They call it a loophole. That's how Esau has, goes through the tax code. You yeah, know what I mean? Yep. He got all his money uh, overseas. And you over and then the soda tax that that shit you see that soda tax shit man this California they got finessed so hard man uh, the soda companies right that make extra money these states the, the little county governments will open put a soda tax city of Berkeley right and uh, fifty percent majority thing to pass it and all this so the the soda companies got made a new bill. They put away with that bullshit saying the city can't make new taxes without a two thirds vote and they have to go through more loops to, to, to raise taxes. And people voted for that. Like, yeah, man, I want to vote for that because I'm sick of fucking taxes, you know? But the whole time it was Pepsi and Coca Cola were behind it. Mm. And then as soon as they got voted in, they went to Jerry Brown's mansion. They're like, yo, this is the deal. Yeah, either, yeah, either we pass this, either we pass this uh, law. Or you pass this other law that says you can't have any soda taxes mm. for 13 years. So all oh, we got help, we had to do it. And then Jerry Brown, he said, this is abomination. We got, I had to sign it reluctantly. But the niggas was in your fucking mansion. Yeah, yeah. It was all set up, man. That the night before. Was, uh, Jerry Brown, he's a Jesuit. Yeah, he's a devil. He's the devil the Bible speaks of. And you, you're, supposed to be, you're supposed to be, oh, you know what? It's just a... Yo, yeah, there's nothing we could do about it. And they're all that all the government officials, yeah, there's nothing we could do. We just had to do that. Dude, fuck you, so-called white people, man. Go ahead, I uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. There's woe unto them that decree an unrighteous decree. That's an unrighteous decree, because first of all, soda should be treated. I'm against all taxes, right? Fuck the white man. But let's look at the so-called white man's logic here, right? Uh cigarettes, right? Super high taxes. Alcohol. Why are those tax so high? Because they 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 they're, they're kill you, man. They're not they're not meant. They they tax it because it's supposed to uh uh um how do you say curb curb yeah. your uh, uh, uh your you consumption. Yeah, it's supposed to deter your consumption of it because that shit don't work. it doesn't work. <laughs> but it actually gives revenue to the government, right? Yeah. Because it's there's a thing called conspicuous because they're addicted to it, so they have to buy it. Soda is the same exact. It was worse, man. Soda's actually killing our people more than cigarettes and alcohol are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got all these kids that are obese. Why are they obese? Because they drink fucking soda all day, man. All right? day long. Dude. All that's all they every meal, every breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? They're, they're having sodas. Which there's nothing wrong with the carbonation. It's the um, artificial sugars. In it's the syrup flavor. So, yeah, the flavoring that it's you the put GMO in. The GMO corn, and make in the laboratory. Make it with a uh, uh, high fructose corn syrup because you can make all that right with, and you can make probiotic drinks. You, you corn but, syrup ain't no wrong, and it'll be and it'll be uh, it'll be healthy for you. But it, it, he doesn't want he doesn't want he, he wants, wants to, to kill, kill you. you. He wants to kill you, so he has, make money off of doing it. He calls it high fructose because he adds so much more sugar to it, and that shit goes right into your bloodstream. Too, it goes right into your pancreas. It, it goes and it shocks you straight to your liver, and it, and it destroys your body from the inside out. It makes you fat, and not only that, it calcifies your pineal glands. The like bus makes you fat, makes you depressed, it makes you addicted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it gives you cancer. You gotta can cut that shit out to your <laughs> diet, man. You eat no damn high fructose corn syrup. Of course, syrup, period, man. Corn syrup, hydrogenated oils, some vegetable oil. All right. You ain't supposed to be fucking with that shit, man. But it's supposed to be have olive oil, coconut oil, man. Grape seed. Grape seed. Grape oil is very good. No canola oil. All right. No, uh, no, uh, uh, Hydro, uh, 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 vegetable oil, yeah, cotton seed oil, rape seed oil, you know, no uh, corn oil. Get you gotta get the uh, the organic shit, man. Well, when it comes down to you gotta you gotta look in everything you put in your body. Yeah, you gotta you, know? you really gotta do your own research, man. You gotta be in the spirit. You gotta be the spirit of understanding. Because if not, you're just gonna go free ball. And you go next thing you know, oh, you're gonna ask a you're gonna ask a, a brother for a blessing because you're dying, man. Diabetes. Well, you you in the spirit of taking a chip. 
Yeah. Really, whatever Esau gives to you, it got to be good. So I'm just going to eat it. Well, we're going to get new bodies anyways. You know? Come on. Uh, keep going up. Yep. It says, woe well, unto them that decree on righteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. Mm -hmm. The right from the poor of my people. You're so the soda companies, right, they don't got to pay taxes. You know who has to pay taxes? You poor Israelites, man. You're gonna, and then here it is. You're living here, and, and you're paying over the odds for rent here. And they're gonna leave a ticket on your own car at your goddamn in front of your own house. Oh. Hell. And then that ticket, that ticket is gonna be fifty, sixty, seventy dollars, man. And you wonder why these people are homeless. They gotta leave because this place is hell, man. You 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 turn away the needy, man. There's no how affordable housing. Why? Because the so-called white man, he ain't concerned with being righteous. He's all about being evil. Keep going. He said to, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, mm -hmm. that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what the so-called white man does. He's robbing. He steals from who? The poorest and the most the vulnerable people who are the Israelites. We're the ones filling your prison system. Why is that? So you can keep your prison industrial complex running. We're the ones, uh, the main ones in your military. Why is that? So you could keep uh, uh, bombing and uh, and have your empire uh, uh, allow your petrol dollar to survive. Okay, You're this everything revolves around you oppressing us, man. Your taxes and and uh, your prisons, your criminals, your criminal justice system. All that is designed of what to, to, to put us in jail and you get paid for it. That's the reason why schools. The schools are, are losing funding, but prisons are, are constantly being built. They're constantly getting built. Police are constantly getting funded, but the teachers can't afford to live in. They can't afford to live in San Francisco. They're living in an RV. They yeah, got living yeah, in an RV. Like, oh, they're living in the gym. They're they're in the school. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this, this is your teacher, man. This is your teacher at school. But but yeah, even at the uh, universities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they only making like thirty thousand a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then they they're not gonna hire, and then they can't hire another a new tenured professor because they can't they can't afford can't those salaries. That. Can't pay that. There's no money. But the but hey, you want to be a a race soldier? They're gonna they're gonna buy you a brand new body camera so you can shoot a nigga on live TV. Keep going. Yeah, I got a picture. Thought that was the end of that. It's um Psalm ninety four and twenty it says, "Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee?" Mm -hmm. Was framing mischief by law. Yeah, well, framing mischief by law. Okay, so what this damn devil does, what you so-called white people like to do, you'll you'll do wickedness and then you'll pass a law to justify it, man. Okay, like slavery, for example. All right. Well, oh, look, it was this illegal. We can we can literally we can enslave you. You're animals. You're three fifths of a man. Mm -hmm. You're not a human being. You're 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 property. Okay. But doing you a favor. Yeah. You know, so that's 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 what the so-called white man does, man. He frames mischief by law, okay? Artists, uh, 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 same-sex marriage thing. That's mischief, man. But what he said, it's okay. You can do it. Why? Because there's a law saying that you can do it. Yeah, because the Supreme Court said it's constitutional. Mm -hmm. That you violate the constitutional rights by not allowing them to, to join a marriage. It's bullshit. Yeah, well, you're breaking the laws of, of the Heavenly Father, man. All right? But that's, that's the Supreme Court. That's the real Supreme Court, man. Yeah, the, right. the Israelites. That's the supreme law of, of the universe, mm -hmm. and you're breaking it. And what the hell do you think is going to happen to you, man? You think you're going to get off scot free? Well, first of all, you can't pay this judge off. You so called white, you go to court, you pay the judge off, you pay the DA off, you pay your attorney, mm -hmm. okay? Then you, you walk out scot free. Well, this judge doesn't, doesn't accept bribes, man, and he hates you. All right. So there's all there's the, the judgment's already biased, man. <laughs> yeah, and also the judge has been set already. Yep. <laughs> it's already been it's already done and dusted. This, this is time for us to be ex it's time for you to be executed. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Like you said, a way to the sin is death, right? That's right. And you are the man of sin. Okay. So you're gonna die. You're gonna be destroyed. But before that, you gotta go into slavery, man. All right. Well, you gotta and, have and, fun. Ain't, ain't no ain't no escape for that. All you eat mice. You going into slavery, man? We gonna have a big, or well, you gonna have a tight chain around your neck, okay? It ain't gonna be big. Ain't gonna be no room for you to put your hands in. Okay? You hate my stuff. That's the one thing you hate hearing us, us say to you is that you're going into slavery. Why? Because you know it's coming. You know, yeah. it's, you know that's the only one. There's only one way for you to go, and that's right into slavery. Yeah. 
Okay. And you know what you did to us. Okay. You know all the anger that the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American have built up from the treatment that you've given them. And you don't want to go through what, uh, what you put upon us. But guess what? You're going to go through it times two. Okay. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. You can flag the videos. Okay. You can try to get the page shut down. You still going into slavery, man. All right. We still gonna put a chain on you. Gonna put a chain on your daughter. Gonna put a chain on your son, your old ass grandma. She gonna have a chain on her neck. She gonna be working in the fields. She gonna be lifting bricks. Okay. Your grandpa, if his old ass still alive, he gonna have a chain on his neck. He gonna be working, building up the kingdom, man. All right. Your newborn baby, as soon as he come out, he gonna have a chain around his neck, man. That's gonna be the first thing that gets put on before the umbilical cord get cut. Gonna put the chain on, man. You know, like All right. they're supposed to the, the baby's supposed to be skin to skin with the mommy. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's not gonna happen to eat We're gonna put the baby away. We're gonna put a chain on his yep. neck. We're gonna we're gonna put a chain on that black. Uh, we're gonna put that bitch back in the barn. Dash his little ass against the stone. We'll yeah. dash his ass up, or you know, just put his ass to work on the spot, man. Yeah, little newborn baby. No, he ain't getting fed. No, no <laughs> breast milk, man. You put this little nigga to work. Yeah. Okay, he's put gonna be eating put cool. a block on his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was about to say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get him used oh, to feeling yeah. that weight, man. <laughs> you gonna catch pure hell, man. Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. and we're not gonna feel no type of way. It's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna celebrate it, man. So I'm gonna be rejoicing in the judgment of, in the righteous judgment on you, damn devils. Just as Esau, when well, Esau, when he took down Gad, you know, you celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, he had many celebrations every time he would do a mm -hmm. massacre. So every time we every time we put one of you Edomites Edomites to death, it's gonna be a party. It's gonna we gonna party. We literally gonna we gonna celebrate right on the spot. You know we gonna have a ball, the bashing a little bit. We might have a baby bashing day. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. just just to celebrate baby bash eating different cakes and crust. You know they got too many Edomites you know? in my plantation. Yeah, too true. many too many of my winches and had have a pups. massacre. Like, yeah, hey, we gotta we gotta we gotta kill man. Brothers come to come to my yeah. my uh, state. Yeah. Yeah, my state has a really nice <laughs> cliff. Well, pick pick and throw them pick, off. Uh, picnics. Yep, yep, yep. Picnics, barbecues. That was all go back to pretty much uh you putting Jake in slavery, man. Uh, uh, uh hanging them, you know, uh, castrating them, yep. burning them up. You know, so we we gonna celebrate. We gonna celebrate all. We gonna we it's gonna be nothing but celebration, man. Mm -hmm. It's a happy shall he be. What well, they showed you that in that movie, uh. Planet of the Apes, the first one. So after know. they had the, uh, the slave raid, right, and Charleston Hessen and uh, the other uh, the crew member, they first got there, he woke, he get, climbed out the crash wreckage. And it was a slave hunt, man. Yeah, yeah they had the uh, nets. Yep. But then afterwards, after this hunt was over, you had uh, the apes. There was a bunch of eating like taking pictures. Yeah. Taking pictures. Taking pictures. He's man. taking pictures. Yeah. All right. Just like you so called white people used to do to us, man. All right, and you eat them. I see. I see. I seen them comments on the comment board. Man, it's all well. Oh, well. Wait, I've seen this before. When the blacks rise up and then they take over the world and put the, the white people in slavery, Planet of the Apes. Oh yeah, you're right about that. That was symbolic for you so-called white people, yeah. man. Yeah. All right. If everybody that was the elites telling you that the people that you believe are apes are going to take over the world and they're going to enslave you, man. Yeah. And then the, the first one, I like that one better because it was nothing but Edomites that was in slavery, man. You have no Jake, one no Jake's there. The, one no, the nigga one no got Mexicans. killed. The nigga got yeah, killed. Yeah, he got killed. He got spared, man. He got killed. In the beginning. He didn't go into slavery, all right? He got he got chopped in half or some shit. The he nigga. got killed. He got spared, man. <laughs> he, got, he got killed in the killing fields, man. Because they had the killing fields, right? And they, and then I gotta like, watch it. I gotta yeah, watch it. Hey, they had the right. killing fields, and they, then they started putting him in the nets. <laughs> they put it out, and they put him in the wagon. And they put his ass in the fucking cage. Mm -hmm. And then they had the scientists uh, uh, doing, doing experiments. experiments on you, man. Beautiful. So, man, Jake is ready to do experiments. Uh, right? I'm, I'm all with that. All right. Ezekiel yeah. uh, 35 and 5. Beautiful. says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Yeah, it was that perpetual hatred. It's like it goes all the way back. Uh, really, it goes back to the garden. God. Okay. Which uh, when the Mosai put enmity between the serpent seed and the seed of the woman, which is talking about the nation of Israel. All right. But then it also goes back to Esau more recently. Okay. When you got finessed out the birthright, man. Which really you didn't you didn't even get finessed. You didn't want it, man. You didn't want the birthright. You said the hell with that. I need food right now. What, what use is the birthright gonna do for me? Then you started bitching and moaning about it after you lost it, man. Something that you didn't want, you're gonna cry about it afterwards, man. That shows you how punk and bitch made the so called white man is, man. Keep going. Yep, it says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred 
and has shed the blood of the children of Israel yeah. by the force of the sword. But when you look in the ledger for the uh for perpetual hatred, it says the hatred of old. Okay, keep going. Yeah, it says uh it has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. Yeah, you shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, man. Keep going. In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Yeah, which the most hell you put upon the, the, the so-called black suspects and Native Americans was after slavery was over, man. Okay, that's where the picnics and the barbecues came from, man. After slavery, all right? Picnics, barbecues, these lynch mobs that you would uh, uh, get together, that came after slavery, man, during the Jim Crow era, okay? Keep going. Verse 6 says, Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh power, I will prepare thee unto blood. Yeah, so death is being prepared for you, all right? The most high, Yahweh Shem Yahshai is preparing death for all you so-called white people, man. All right, and that's from the Bible, okay? So if you got a problem with it, you should take it up with the Heavenly Father, man, all right? And by the way, he hates you, okay? So it's, it's, it's not going to go good for you, man. <laughs> all right, keep going. And blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, and blood shall pursue thee. So the most high is preparing death for you, and death is going to pursue you, okay? Just like death pursued the nation of Israel by your hands, the most high is going to have death pursue you, okay? And there ain't going to be no mercy, man. Why? Because the Heavenly Father hates you, man. He literally hates you, okay? Keep going. Since thou has not hated blood, mm -hmm. even blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, and none of you Edomites hated blood, man. Okay, none of you was shaking or bugging out when you seen you had the blood on your hands of a so called Negro, Latino, Native American. It was the opposite. Yeah, you, right. you, 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 you got off on it. Yeah, man. You, you, you was eating and licking and shit, drinking the blood. Sick ass. Keep going. Uh, I got a precept. Got uh, Obadiah, verse 10. Mm. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. That's right. And thou shalt be cut off forever. What does that mean? You're going to be exterminated, man. Okay. At the end of a thousand year period, which is going to be a long thousand years, okay, because the time is going to change. It's 354 days in a year. That's going to change, man. Okay. And at the time is going to change too. There ain't going to be no more 24 hour days, man. Okay. The scriptures say that the earth is going to remove out of her place. Okay. And the most high is going to make the kingdom enjoyable. All right. So the Israelites are going to be enjoying the kingdom, man. So the most high might make the, 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 the days longer, man. Okay? Well, that's more hell than we get to put on you so-called white people, man. Uh, 24 hours might be just the uh, daylight, man. Okay? And that's tw that's 24 hours more or, or 48 hours more than we get to put hell upon you, man. Yeah. Okay? Well, the Lord said that he's going to shorten the time for the elect's sake. Yeah. So once in the elect, I mean, it will only make sense that he... That if the if the time is being shortened, that it's going to be longer in the kingdom. Yep. Yep. Let yep. me uh, jump down to verse eighteen. Sorry. It says, "And the house of Jacob shall be a fire." Yeah, the house of Jacob represents the so-called Negroes, the Southern Kingdom. All right, the one you call monkeys, okay, uh, Sodomite Kushites. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and the house, and the house of Joseph, a flame. Yeah, the house of Joseph is a flame, man. The house of Joseph is talking about the Northern Kingdom, man. Okay, the one you call wetbacks. All right. Keep going. And the house of Esau for stubble. And Esau, are you so-called white people, man? You're gonna be stubble. Now, what happens when you put fire and flame to stubble? It go, it, it ignites very quickly, man, and it gets consumed quickly. Okay. Keep going. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. Uh huh. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Yep. For Yahweh has spoken it. That's right. These ain't our words. We didn't write this down. Okay. The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has spoken and declared that he's going to exterminate all you so called white people in the near future, man. All right. So that's what you have to look forward to. You got to look forward to slavery. Okay. For all, first, first, first. You got to look forward to uh, the condition that you're living in getting worse. Mm -hmm. Okay. More and more you eat about are going to be living in tents. Okay. And then you you so-called millionaires, you got these uh, 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 mansions. Okay. You got these multi-million dollar houses. When the housing uh, uh, bubble collapses, you're going to lose that. You're going to end up in a tent on the street. Okay. So you, your, your condition is going to deteriorate even worse than it is now. Okay, and then when it deteriorates, when you hit rock bottom, ain't gonna be no opioids for you to lift yourself back up. Okay, 
Then it's going to be a, a, a civil war and class wars out here. A lot of you Edomites, you're going to die in the wars. Okay, you're going to die of famine. Okay, you're going to starve to death because there ain't going to be no food out here. And then when you do get food, a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American who's stronger than you, he's going to take it out your hand, man. Okay. Then what's going to happen? Your country's going to be destroyed in a thermonuclear war, man. And you ain't going to survive. You ain't going to make it. Okay. You ain't going to be delivered from it. You're going to burn up like Sarah Connor did in World War and uh, uh, Terminator 2. Okay. And then what's going to happen? You're going to wake up in slavery. You have a chain around your neck. You're going to be put to work, straight to work. Okay. You ain't going to have no break, save the Sabbath. But even then, in the Sabbath, you're going to bug the hell out, man. Okay, because all that, that pain and them, them wealth that you got, okay, from them lashes, it's gonna, you're going to start feeling it, man. Okay? Then what's going to happen? After that a thousand-year period of you being in slavery, you're going to be exterminated, man. Okay? We're going to round up all you so-called white people under the orders of the Heavenly Father and the Son, and we're going we're gonna to burn you up and exterminate you, man. Yeah, bonfire. Yep. Ain't going to be none of you Edomites left, man. All right, yeah, party. Man. Yeah, it's gonna be a big party. It might be a holiday, man. Oh man, yeah. it's gonna be epic. The day, the day, uh, Edom was destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay, evil was eradicated from off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Good, because right, uh, you know, if in the kingdom of heaven, when Edomite around, man, it's gonna remind, it's gonna give us bad, it's gonna traumatize us, man. Of course, we're gonna have spiritual bodies, but for the elect, we are gonna remember, man, like this fucking devil, man. This is the guy. Mm -hmm. Because well, we're gonna have the spiritual power, we're gonna see what this devil was doing. And just think about it, gonna make it, we're gonna just we'll put it in depth. We're gonna power up, man. So we're gonna have to have we're gonna, we're gonna have a certain <laughs> the first thousand years is gonna be a terrible time for your Edomites, man. Let's just say it like that, all right? Well, it's gonna be like uh when Jake got out of slavery, all oh, that's when all the hell is gonna be put on you, man. That thousand year period, nothing but pure hell, man. Times two. Because okay. you know, we're gonna you gonna build everything, man. You Edomites, we're gonna put y'all to work. Right, Trump, you talking about getting jobs, making America great again. Hey, the kingdom of heaven, all eat them up. Continue employment. Trump yep, yep, yep. Yep. That's a good thing. Ain't going to be all unemployment, man. No, it's going to be zero, or zero unemployment. Mm -hmm. hey, the economy's doing great. We're gonna, yeah, we're yeah, state of the Edomites, <laughs> state of the Union, state of Esau. Hey, brothers, the state of Esau, he's through. <laughs> he's through, yeah, right? There's nothing <laughs> we can do for him, but we give him jobs. He's still doing the same thing. He's slacking, he's he's slacking other, on the project. He doesn't want to uh, lift himself up out of his condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants yeah. to stay in the pits. Yeah, we're going to blame you for your condition. And it is your fault. Yeah, Why? Yeah, because yeah. you ain't going to be able to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know? And we told him not to be homosexual. He still wants to be homosexual. I have to put him to death. You know, he just doesn't want to keep it sad. He don't want to grow his beard. You don't want to have sex with his woman. Yeah, I saw him look at it. I saw him look at another man <clears throat> uh -huh. in, a, in a homosexual way. Got kill his ass, man. It's so, your fault. Yep. That you can't. Uh, that you're not going to be able to uh, excel. Oh well, look, I saw him. I, I saw him. I saw him looking at that dog a certain way. You know, you had to, you had to fucking put his ass to death, man. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, that, but this is what you eat about too. That's what you eat them do, man. You, you, they actually, they literally see a dog and they lust that. Hey, what did he still say when I was walking my dog? You see? Yeah, We're going to have to yeah. put eat them like that to death, man. Oh, I don't even want to hear it. Man. Yeah, we, so yeah. Not gonna, we're, we're not, not going to say it. We're not going to say it. It's on Revelation 18 and 5. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Mm -hmm. we'll reward her even as she rewarded you. Yeah, how have you so far, white people? the so-called Negro Latino and Native American man. Just to just meditate upon that in your 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 red mind, man. <laughs> Keep going. And double unto her. And double. So the things that you have done unto us, it's gonna be done unto you double. Okay? Keep going. And double unto her, double according to her works. Uh-huh. And the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. Yeah, so the judgment's gonna come upon you double, man. The things that we went through, you're gonna go through that times too. All right. And the scriptures tell you that uh, uh, the things that happened to the nation of Israel, basically, there uh, 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 nothing has been done uh, like that. Nothing under the sun, nothing uh, 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 that any nation has went through is comparable to what we went through. You mm -hmm. know, roughly, roughly paraphrasing that. Okay, so <laughs> we can't even really explain to you, Edomites, what we go, how, how we really going to uh, do you in the kingdom, man. There's nothing that we can compare to give you an example, man. All right. Just look at the history between uh, 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 the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the modern history, okay, of us uh, living in this country, okay? 
and just times that by two. Okay, that's that's what's gonna happen to you, man. Uh, All right. Just as there's no um, kingdom or nothing that can, that's gonna be able to compare, I have not seen. You know mm -hmm. what we're gonna receive. Yep. Yep. There's no type of hell. You know that you're gonna be able to compare to what you eat. Might gonna care. That's right. Yeah. It's gonna be worse than Jacob's trouble, man. Every day, <laughs> every day is gonna be. That's crazy. We're gonna be rolling on you, man. That's heavy, man. It's, gonna, it's literally going to be worse than Jacob's trouble. The scriptures tell you that there's that, uh, not going to be a day ever since there was a nation. But it's going to, your old slavery is going to be worse than that, man. All right. Every every day you eat a mice on the earth and we got you in slavery, it's going to be like we're exterminating your ass. Because the, during the time of Jacob's trouble, Jake is actually going to get, you know, he's in action to get some bodies too, you know. Well, the, he's going to be getting rolled on, but you know, then you eat a mice, you're going to be getting rolled on too. But the kingdom of heaven, you eat them while they're gonna have no power, man. Yeah, every every day is gonna be uh eat, eat them's trouble, man. Okay. Yeah, they're not gonna have any trouble. saviors. Yeah. yeah. They said that the prince Michael's gonna stand up. For ain't nobody's gonna stand up for you. Who man. gonna stand up for you? Hey, <laughs> you ain't gonna have you gonna have no prophets. You, you ain't gonna have no god. <laughs> Satan, Satan gonna forget you. He gonna he gonna we gonna be telling Satan what to do, man. Your woman for sure ain't gonna. Be, oh, she okay. ain't gonna mourn you. Right, she ain't doing it now. So now we. And she, man, she gonna get put to death too. All right, and the white woman, you ain't about to just slide up in the king. Nah, you ain't about nah, to just nah. slide and glide. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all, y'all ass gonna man, get put is, to you're death. doing that now, man. That's your job for right now. The king of heaven, you gonna be back in the fucking uh, in the caves, man. Right? Yeah, you gonna see the, the yeah. so-called white woman. She gonna, she gonna, she gonna, uh, you gonna see her in her true state as a, a, a leprous piece of shit. A dog, okay. Beast. Yeah, she ain't, oh, she ain't gonna be able to uh, shave. She and then and then y'all y'all gonna be out in the sun. You're not gonna be able to hide from the sun. You're not gonna have sunglasses or you're not gonna have sunscreen on. So that so you are gonna get burnt up. Yeah, pure hell. You know, <laughs> ain't gonna be no sunscreen, man. Yeah, you fat obese <laughs> social justice warrior, uh, uh dyed hair freaks. You gonna be a slavery man. You are gonna be out there working. You pat looking butch ass Edomite woman. You androgynous weirdos. You gonna be you gonna be in slavery, man. You gonna be lifting bricks. You talking about the wage gap? Oh, there's a gender wage gap. Well, there's not gonna be a wage gap in the kingdom. You ain't gonna get paid shit. Equal all right, pay. equal pay, <laughs> shit. Okay, it's a free labor. You ain't yeah. gonna. Well, what's there to work for? Look what you did to us. We ain't. We not feeding you either. Nope. Are you smart to get it out? You live. You're, you're gonna have to live like a tree. All right. Whatever's in that pit, you gonna, you're gonna have to eat. You're gonna drink water from the dew, man. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> your water break, you guys look for the leaf with it with some dew on it. Yeah, you want precepts? I just one more. Okay, uh, Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance mm. upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Yep. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger. Yeah, so we're gonna do in Edom according to the anger of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, and keep in mind that the most high hates you so-called white people. All right, keep going. And according to my fury. Mm -hmm. And they shall know my vengeance, said Yahweh Power. Yeah, you're going to know the vengeance of the Heavenly Father, man. All right? So that's what you so-called white people have to look forward to, man. Okay? After this uh, country destroyed, your your uh, state deteriorates uh, more and more. Really, Esau, he's going back to that cave state right now, man. You're all dirty. You can't wash yourself. Your hair is growing because you can't shave. All right? And you're going to get into the kingdom. It's going to be uh, uh, way worse for you, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Every day is going to be like a... a, a, a and take up trouble to you, man. It's gonna be like we exterminate you, okay? And you're gonna have to deal with it the next day and then the next day for a thousand years, man. You're gonna want to kill yourself, but guess what? We got the power, we're gonna have the power over life and death, man. We're gonna bring your ass back, okay? I might just leave some sharp uh instruments in the pit for you just, just so you can kill yourself. Then you know, I'll come in the morning, I'll come to look at you in the pit, put the spirit back in you, man. <laughs> <laughs> get to work. Ain't no so, escape for you, Edomites, man. You ain't getting out of this, all right? Any, any, any other uh, precepts? Any closing words? Yeah, hey, so, you know, with that, we're going to say uh, death to you, so called white people, all right? Vengeance is coming for you, all right? The most side is going to lay vengeance upon you by the hand of uh, his people, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? After your country is destroyed, all you so called white people, you're going into slavery, man. Okay, you gonna have chains around your neck. Okay, chains are gonna be on your baby's neck. Chains are gonna be on your uh, your wife's neck. Okay, your whole family they they gonna they gonna be rounded up, man. We gonna we gonna split the family up just like you doing it, Jake. Now, okay, we are gonna take the, uh, the, the 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 husband, the wife. We gonna we gonna ship them to different plantations, man. 
Put your children in cages. Yep. And beat them to death, man. That's right. Yeah, with that, man, death to you so-called white people. That's right. right. They're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushat, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Kadash. The honor to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, sincere brother, not there pushing this work. Shalom. 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 Shalom.